Today, I'm very, very much happy and excited again to share good news and good information for everyone who is looking for educational opportunities to study in the greatest country of Norway. Free education, no tuition, no fees, regardless of the country of origin. Anybody studying in Norway, as long as you go to the public universities, is free of charge. By the way, it is starting from kindergarten, as long as it's public to university. If it is public, it's free. Regardless of your citizenship, regardless of country of origin, regardless of financial status you have, whether you are rich, whether you are poor, it's free education. But if you go to the private school, which are fewer, especially at the university level, you have to pay tuition and fees and then other things. I made a video, I'll put here on the... Uh, on the, on the card, but also in the description about overall study and understanding of education in Norway. But in this video, I'm going to give you the list for 2021-2022, the list of uh, tuition-free universities in Norway for international students where you can be able to go there study for free by the way I'll explain the other part of living expenses how do you get your living expenses so this is the list I printed out and I'm going to share with you is the list of 30 universities which have programs for free no. international students can start over there for free obviously i'm saying international students is for everybody but because they are also english taught program their instruction the minimum of instruction is english language which will make it easier for people because i believe you are one among the people like me who doesn't know norwegian language so you can be go to apply to any of these universities and get free education so that's number one i will give you the list of 30 programs but at the end even if you're not looking for programs in norway i'll give you the link on how you can be able to get this book phd scholarships for africans though i say africans but also for people from latin america people from uh, asia people from north america you can see this book how you can be able to get the education opportunities uh the how you can apply even if you're just in america or other countries you're going to be able to use this book as a guide at the end step to the end i'll give you the link where you can be able to download this book for free 498 pages you can get them for free uh but also before i continue i would like to ask you three things from you that is only things I need from you. Number one, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so right now because there are 47% of people who are watching my videos haven't subscribed. I know maybe you are brand new to my YouTube channel, but this is the headquarters of opportunities. We share about immigration. We will share about education scholarships. We share about how you can be in other countries and succeed. But also we share how you can be able to write your books and post them on, YouTube, on Amazon, uh, Barnes and & Nobles and other websites. But overall, how we can be able to support one another, jobs, research, internship, volunteering, anything you mentioned about you can be able to succeed, this is the center of all those opportunities. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, share this video to anybody, share to your WhatsApp group, Facebook, or Instagram, whatever, share to other people, and don't forget to like this video. The more you like the video, the more YouTube is forced to recommend my videos to other people to get this good news. Okay, let's go to the particular video and let's talk about Norway again. Let's talk about masters in Norway. So this is masters. I've made the video about bachelor's degree, undergraduate studies. If you haven't checked the video, go and check on the description or on the comment. I put that video. You can be able to check it and be able to understand. So whether you are, you are looking for bachelor's degree, whether you are looking for master's or PhD, come here and get this information. But before I go and start mentioning the name of the universities, by the way, all these names of the universities and links where can be got to check and confirm and apply they will be in the description of this video apart from that way i want to take you back a little bit to explain how does that work about the no tuition program in norway first of all and first and foremost i can read here just to confirm what i want to tell you which i've been telling you over and over all these years public universities in norway do not charge students 
tuition fees regardless of the student's country of origin. This is a very unique opportunity to obtain a degree at a quality university at no cost and one of the many reasons why Norway has become the most attractive country of the foreign students. So what are you waiting for? Why do you need to wait to apply to study in England? You pay for tuition and fees. Very expensive. You want to come to study in America. You are going to study in Canada. You pay tuition 15,000 US dollars as international students. And that is, you are not talking about the cost of your expenses, apartment, food, whatever, transportation, insurance, all those kind of crazy things. You are going to put at least 30, 25 to 35,000 US dollar per year. But if you go to Norway, first of all, no tuition at all. Meaning you have saved over 15, 20,000 of that particular nature. And all these universities in Norway are very high quality universities. So that's number one. So for that case, you are going to solve, you are waiting to solve the problem of living expenses. How do you survive with that, the living expenses? When you apply for this university and you get it, I will explain how you get the visa as international students. But you are allowed to be given work permit to work up to 20 hours per week to start with during the time of the school year. If the time of the holiday, you can work more. But also if you want to work more, you have to get a permit from the university and the department which is dealing with the work permit. They can be able to extend depending on the circumstances you are going to explain to them. But again, the good thing about Norway, because of the euro, they are minimum wage you are going to get most of them is about up to twenty dollar per hour compared to america you are you are working on campus and you're going to get ten twelve dollar per hour most of the campus's jobs so in norway you can be able to get over twelve i mean over one thousand six hundred to two thousand two hundred per month and the cost of norway yes is expensive i agree with that but one thing you need to know is this way uh only in oslo which is the capital and other few cities is that expensive. Other cities is very affordable. But us as international students, we're not going there to have fun, too much fun. If you live on the subsidized accommodation for students, it's very cheap. If you cook, it's very cheap. But if you start to go to drink beer at the bar, it's about five bucks, five dollar per beer. But if you buy the beer and drink at home, it's cheaper. So those are things you need to understand about Norway. How can you be able to save? Save the money, save everything. So when you apply for the school, you apply, I will send you the links, you can be able to apply. You have to show the uh, uh, transcript. You have to show uh, some of the things you'll be able to apply. You can apply as many programs as possible. Once you apply, these are the public universities which are guaranteed no tuition. But you'll be able to indicate, you'll be able to pay from your own or someone else is going to help you to pay for living expenses, cost of living, where are you going to, to cover the apartment and all other kind of things. So, as international students, you are supposed, after getting the admission, before you go to get the visa, you have to prove that you have the money. Unlike in the United States, for instance, you will show the bank statement in your own country. In Norway, they want you to have a bank statement from Norwegian bank, the bank in Norway. If you don't know anybody in Norway to give you the bank statement from Norway, what you need to do is you have to deposit the money. Norwegian krona of 90,800, which is about US dollar, 11 to 12,000 US dollar. So you deposit the money into the university bank account. The university is going to give the bank statement from Norwegian bank, from Norway. They give to you along with admission into all the documents. You go to the U.S. I mean, to go to the Norwegian embassy to apply for the visa. So already you have a guarantee to get the visa because you have admission. You have already paid or you have shown you have the you, you can be able to to cover the cost of living in Norway. So obviously you're going to get the student visa for Norwegian uh, to go to Norway as a student is about 600, 650 because it is a visa along with the work permit you are given at once. Once you are given at once, you'll go to Norway.
Once you arrive in Norway, the first week you do the registration, uh, orientation, you will also give them the documentation, identity, and everything to be able to go and have the bank account in Norway. Once you open the bank account in Norway, the university will deposit money back, the money used to show that you have the money. If it's 11,000 or 12,000, all of it will come back to your bank account, exception of the bank charge, like maybe $50 or whatever, the one for wire transfer from one bank to another. So that's all they'll be able to take. If you have that money, you got it from your uncle, from whatever, you can send them back and remain with the amount which is, you can be able to start with the life, maybe 2000 3000 And then with the work, as I said, if you have a job for $20, $18, you can make it, well, 1500 to 2000 2200 per month, and that will be able to leave. So basically, you are studying for free, with they're just working. While you are working, you can be able to have, and the jobs are there. There are so many jobs. You'll be able to have the job, you'll be able to do that. So why do you want to come to study in America to pay for tuition, fees, and the uh, cost of living, living expenses on your own, or to go to Canada, or to England, go to Norway, or any other Scandinavian countries which have the free program of this nature. So that's number one. I want to clear that one. If you have any question about the policy, about no tuition, let me know up to that particular moment. Let's go to mention some of the list of the free tuition free universities in Norway for everybody and but especially for international students and these universities have gone to select them which have programs in English language you can be able to start the university number one Norwegian University of Science and Technology NT and NTNU that's yeah, the university and NTNU offers all students a distinct advantage over many other universities in Europe and North America. There are no tuition fees here. However, students need to cover their own living expenses. Furthermore, all international students who are not citizens of EU, EEA, EFTA countries must be able to document that they have enough funding to live in Norway in order to be having a guaranteed student visa. Meaning, if you are a citizen of Europe or uh, Eastern Europe, whatever, or Schengen, you don't, because you already live over there, you don't need to show any work, the other money. But if you're from Africa, you are Asia, or Latin America, whatever, or in America, you, can, you have to show that. So that's number one, University, Norwegian University of Science and Technology, NTNU. Oslo and the Akashosh University College of Applied Science, they have so many problems I put there, and as they say, as a state-owned university, this university does not charge tuition fees. This applies to both Norwegian and international students. This is a mandatory fee, uh, but there is a mandatory fee the same for the semester fee, which is covering the student membership. How much they are going to charge their fees is just in Norwegian krona 660, which is about $81. That's all you'll be able to pay. Apart from that, you are automatically exempt from any fees. Then there is the University of Nordland, which is the, used to be called the Bordeaux University or College. Uh, this university also does not charge tuition fees. Uh, so that is something. But also, the students who are international students, the current amount money to be transferred to the University of Nordland uh, is 92,000 Norwegian Corona 500 for the academic year. That means if you show that one, you can be able to get, which I said is about 12,000 US dollar. University of Bergen, one of the big universities is Bergen. Uh, the only fee to be paid to the University of Bergen is the semester fee to the student welfare organization, which is currently about Norwegian Krona 480. 480 is about 64, 63 US dollar. The University of Bergen is a public institution and therefore does not charge tuition fees. This applies to both Norwegian citizens and international students. What the... Man, if I was still looking for the opportunity to study Masters or PhD, basically I'm going to Norway. Then apart from the University of Bergen, there is Bergen University College. These are two things different. Bergen University College offers accommodation guarantee. To 
Students accommodation, SIB student accommodation. This guarantee is only valid if you uh, apply within the first of May, whatever that one. And yeah, then there is uh, BI Norwegian School of Business. There is Arctic University of Norway. There is Hedmark University of Applied Science. I'm going to read it quickly. There is uh, also uh, Lehama University College. There is MF. Uh, Norwegian School of Theology for those who want to study theology all international students might arrive in Oslo with adequate funding to pay for the student fees which is a very small amount in the registration fee accommodation and living expenses apart from the relatively small fee registration fee there is no tuition fee to study at the MF Norwegian School of Theology so if you want to study theology you want to be a priest or a preacher or somebody that go to that university. Moldy University College. This is the most, they say, is a special university in logistics. My friend from, we studied together to the University of Dar es Salaam. We finished the same year. He went to the Moldy University and he studied, he studied the master's uh, at the uh, that Moldy University for master's in logistics and PhD. And now he's teaching at Moldy University over there. And he, he's married to a Norwegian and they have a very good life in Norway. So international students from countries where a visa is required for attending Norway and the Schengen countries only need to document a minimum of 90,800 Norwegian krona per academic year or the, at this university at Moldi, they allow you to document per semester, which is 45,400 per semester to cover their own living expenses while studying in Norway. Then there is Bergen Academy of Art and Design Norway. Then there is Navik University College. Then there is uh, Nesma, Nesna University College. There is NLA University College. Then there is Nord, uh, Tronda, Trondeland, 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 yes, University College. Then there is Norwegian Academy of Music. You want to be a musician? I know, I don't know. Davido doesn't, doesn't need to go there. Oh, those uh, with kid people, Diamond Platinums, Ali Kiba, Harmonized. If they want, they can go there and take it to the next level. But yeah. Then there is Norwegian School of Economics. As a member of Norwegian Council of Higher Education, Council, Norwegian School of Economics does not charge any application, admission, or tuition fees to international students for the master's program. Once admitted, students are required to pay a small welfare fee to students' association of approximately 700 Norwegian krona each semester, which is about... Uh, 85 US dollar. This fee must be paid before students register for classes. That's the only fee you'll be able to pay. Norwegian School of Sports and Sciences. So, if you are going uh, to study this one, you have to come from partner university. That there is a special requirement for that. There is Norwegian School of Veterinary Science. Those who are studying from uh, agriculture sciences uh, and the veterinary schools. But you have to come also from a partner universities. So you have to look if the university is part of that one. There is, there is Norwegian uh, School of, uh, uh, of, of Science again. There is Oslo School of Architecture and Design. There is Oslo and the... Uh, okay, there are so many universities. There is uh, University of Oslo. There is Stord University. There is University Center in uh, Slav, Slavbad. There is University of Agda, which also have the bachelor degree. Uh, also in English language, Os Oslo, uh, Stavanger University, University of Stavanger, over there, and then there is the Tromso. I like it, Tromso. What I, I mean, what I want to apply for Norway, I want to apply in Tromso and Oslo because they have, also they have what, they have PhD masters and PhD in conflict resolution and human rights. These are the two universities they want to study those programs. So those are the one I want to apply, and also there is the Vestod. Uh, University College in Norway. So those are the some of the list about 30 universities with the programs in English language which are public universities which you are going to apply this 2021 to go to study in 2022 free guarantee no tuition fees. You have to show the money for covering the living expenses. If you know any other university, I haven't mentioned it, put it in the comment below. But I said again at the end, I'm going to give you the link 
where you can be able to download this one so on the link here on the card or in the description or on the comment we'll be able to see where you can be able to download this book this book will be able to help you to get how you can be able to apply not only in america even any other university how you can write the statement of purpose how to write a resume how to write whatever everything is here on this big book of 498 pages i wrote this book myself so thank you thank you so much for your continued support remember to share this video to others goodbye this is ebm ebm out